Hey guys, it's me. Um, I thought I'd do like a special video because it's like gaming news, and I never really do gaming news, but I thought, why not? Um, it's gonna be about alien colonial marines and how that game basically sucks. How it was like a basically former former uh, show of how it used to be because back in like 2011, the demo. It like spectacular graphics and look it looked really promising but then then when it came out we get we got this piece of crap with like oh the graphics were horrible. Like on on the computer they look like they're on uh, like I would say like first generation PS3 or Xbox controller and I heard the console versions are even worse. They looked like a PS2 game, which I've seen both I've seen both the PC and the consoles and then I would say that's true. But, um, and then I guess they cut some things out and stuff too. I guess we were supposed to get like a alien ter or a turret fighter or whatever. Probably from the movie or whatever. But they cut a lot of stuff out and it's just, it's just, it's, 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 it, ugh, I can't talk. It was just a very promising title and then and they, they just ruined it, I guess. But it all, it, 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 it isn't because of Gearbox's fault. But here, I'll, I'll just read the um, article. It says, um, Alien, Mar Alien Clone Marines is a bad game by most accounts. The viewers have have almost all trashed it, fans don't seem to like it, and the final product looks nothing like the impressive demo that developer Gearbox showed last year, and that's true. But, um, I gotta get my controller so I can get this put down. But, um, so how did it happen? Although the full picture isn't clear, clear yet, over the past few days we've heard that the six year development process for Alien Col Colonial Marines, yeah, it took, they were developing this game for six years, <laughs> was, um, ter I can't see that word, but it's, here, I'll show you. Um, it's like, past few days, Colonial Marines was tremendous and diverse, a product of multiple studios with kind of conflicting visions, and it shows in the resulting game. According to one per person familiar with familiar with the project who spoke to Kaku or whatever that this magazine company is called, under condition of anonymously, Gearbox outsourced the bulk of Colonial Marines, codename Pecan, to a studio called Timegate, most recently responsible for the shooter S S Sector 8 and a sequel. That's like that PSN game and Xbox game. I don't, I don't know if it was a PSN game or a full retail game. I think it was a full retail game. I'm not sure. But it was like a it was like a multiplayer shooter. Anyways, this comes on the heels of a massive Riddick post that's been making rounds today from someone claiming to work at Gearbox, although we can't confirm that the Riddick post is credible. Everything we've heard from our source matches up. The Riddick the Riddickter said Timegate left the single player in a pretty horrid state and that last September after Borderlands 2 shipped, Gearbox was unhappy with, with what Timegate had left them. Sega was already upset with Gearbox for asking for multiple extensions since the project launched in 2006. So Gearbox had to buckle down and release a game they knew wasn't going to be good, very good, the, the vertical said. The post on Riddick matches what our sources has told us, but there's more. When Timegate took over the project, our, 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 uh, our source said they threw out most of what Gearbox had done beforehand. All of the art and all of the art and design that Gearbox had produced during the previous four years was gone. So from 2010 until late last year, while Gearbox, or got big by Gearbox, but Gear, Gearbox was working on Borderlands 2, intently codenamed Willow 2, huh? Timegate, Timegate handled the bulk of development on Aliens. A small team at Gearbox helped out with the multiplayer work, you know, for Aliens, if you don't know what, what that meant. As explained by both our source and the Redditor or whatever. 
but the, but TimeGate built the single player campaign. So basically, um, Gearbox worked on the multiplayer most basically, and TimeGate worked on the horrendous single player campaign. In late 2012, when Gearbox saw what TimeGate has had had done, most of their developers weren't interested in taking the game back. Our sources said. Gearbox's team was upset that their work had been thrown out and they didn't want this to be a repeat of Duke Nukem Forever. A game that took over a decade to develop until it finally finished until it was finally finished by Gearbox and released in mid 2011 to Timphead Response. I actually thought that game was pretty good, but you know. But Gearbox had to finish the game, okay, according to our, our source, that had to throw out much of tier Time gates work and start from scratch. This this lines up from what the ridicule claims. This is from what, what that ridicule guy said. Campaign didn't make much sense. The bo the f boss fight boss fights weren't emblematic. PS3 was way over memory electronic. GPX was GP GPX was pretty unhappy with time gates work and some of and some of the campaigns. Maps were just completely redesigned from scratch. There were some last-minute features, feature requirements, most notably female marines and the general and the general uh, cl clonus among GPS developers was that there was no way this game was going to be was going to be good by sh ship. There just wasn't enough time. Considering that Sega was pretty close to taking legal, a legal action against Gearbox, asking for an extension once wasn't an option, and so Pecan kept crash landed certificate certificate I can't see that word and shipping features that were planned were over were oversimplified or shoved. And a good example of this are challenges, which are which are in. In botically illogical order. Oh, that sucks. Okay, issues that didn't issues that didn't cause 100% blockage were com blockers were completely ignored, with the exception of absolutely horrible problems. This isn't because Gearbox didn't care, mind you. At a certain point, they they couldn't risk changing anything that might cause them to fail certificately or break some other system. So the product and so. The product is what you is is the product you see is what you get. People at Gearbox knew that the bad reviews were coming. Our source said they they knew that the game wasn't good. We reached out to Gearbox, but they they would not comment on the record. However, in a recent review with IGN, Gearbox had heard Randy Pitchford said that TimeGate handled development development probably about twenty. 20 to 25 percent of the total time, so they did about a quarter of the game. And so at least that's what, that's what he's saying. And that if you take pre production out of it, their efforts probably equivalent to ours. Now, it's not fair to take pre production out of it, but that's a lot about how much horsepower these guys put into it. Pitchford's statements also seem to match up with what we've heard. We've reached out to this time gate this afternoon, but they have yet to get back to us. We'll continue to update, continue to update as as we hear more. But yeah, as as you that's based that was the whole article. But I'll I'll put it in the description if anybody wants to read it. I'll also put the um the uh the demo that was shown in 2011, how the game was like how it originally shown. But um yeah, as you can tell, um time gate basically ruined the game, and. Gearbox didn't want to ask for an extension from Sega because they were, Sega was getting sick of it and they were putting legal, you know, getting ready, getting ready for legal actions for it. So they had to basically get the game out no matter what. And they, they, they didn't want to have another Duke Nukem Forever thing where it took like 10 years to develop it. So, so yeah, you know, a lot of things were cut out of the game or just completely ignored or whatever. But yeah, as as you can tell, as you can see or or hear. It was basically a Gearbox's fault that, or not Gearbox's, but TimeGate's fault that the game sucks. But, um, I'll leave the description, 
I'll leave the uh, article in the description. Bye.